both were coming today to celebrate Andrea and Chris. Thankfully, the weather held up and there's a lot of dry women out here. <laughs> for, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Amanda. Andrea and I met in sixth grade when Andrea, who was sitting in the front row of class, thought it was a good idea to origami up some paper into the shape of a football and fling it at me, which ended up completely missing me and hitting the teacher. Yeah! I could honestly talk for days about memories we've shared from high school, even though it's only four years long, thanks Gina for reminding us, <laughs> and college, which I'm not really sure any of us really remember that. Except for Kevin, our friend's husband, who repeatedly yelled at Andrea, Ashley, and I for coming home from the bar and singing Mamma Mia at the top of our lungs every single night. But in all seriousness, I was trying to think of a way to describe Andrea, and I found a really great quote that I love, and I think it relates to her a lot. It says, you owe yourself the love that you so freely give to others. And I thought that perfectly fit Andrea. Take you to be my wife. Take you to be my wife. I promise to be your biggest fan and your partner in crime. <laughs> I promise Lord, to be John, your biggest fan and your partner in crime. <laughs> if I miss something, I'm sorry. You're doing it. I promise to create support, create and support a family with you. I promise to create and support a family with you. I found not just to grow old together. I vow not just to grow old together. But to grow together. But to grow together. I will love you faithfully through the difficult and easy. I will love you faithfully through the difficult and the easy. For every raindrop that falls may it be a blessing on you and yours. By the powers vested in me <laughs> by me <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife again. Again. You may be surprised. <laughs>